Hi everyone, my name is Jill Clearin and welcome to my course Accessing Remote Data from Zeminform's Applications. I'm the CTO of Xperit Belgium and work on mobile and web projects. Nearly every mobile application will need data to work with. This can be local data, so locally on the device, but in many cases, apps will need access to remote, up-to-date information. Think of a stock application, think of a news application or your banking application. Even think of your favorite game that needs to access high scores. All of this is remote data that you will need to access from your mobile apps built with Xamarin Forms. This course will teach you all you need to know on how to access remote data from Xamarin Forms applications. You will learn how to connect with different, more older types of services, including ASMX web services and WCF services. Next, you'll learn about REST APIs and we'll learn in a lot of detail how we can connect with REST APIs from Xamarin. Finally, you'll understand how you can make the service communication between your Xamarin app and the remote data source more resilient by introducing packages such as Poly. Some of the major topics that we'll cover include understand how to work from Xamarin Forms apps with remote data, learn how to connect with ASMX and WCF services, understand the concepts of REST services and how to access them from Xamarin Forms applications. See how to make the communication more stable, more resilient to errors that may occur. By the end of this course, you'll have a good understanding of how Zeminforms applications can communicate with remote data. This course is part of the Zeminforms learning part and expects some Zeminforms knowledge. Also, I will assume that you are familiar with the concepts of data binding Zeminforms and that you understand the basics of the MVVM pattern in Zeminforms. I hope that you'll join me on this journey to learn how to access remote data from Zeminforms applications using the Accessing Remote Data from Zeminforms applications course here at Pluralsight.